What do you mean by lack of options? Lack of options. Okay. The way this system has been drummed up now, the way it's been set up, I think people make the argument often with football players, with basketball players, well, you can go to the developmental league or you can go to Europe. And going to Europe to me is the dumbest answer possible. Like, I'll raise your hand. If everybody that's 18 and ready to go be a grown man in Europe, let the grown man or woman in Europe, let me know right now. Like, that's it. That's not feasible. Um, if you are a top-notch athlete, there is a value for your services. And we know there's a value for these guys' services because there's a long line of people willing to pay them, right? It's not as though we can't find where the money would go to pay the guys. There are people all over the place fighting over themselves, breaking rules, running the risk of going to jail in order to pay guys to play college, play college football, play college basketball. I mean, clearly there's a market. The economist in me tells me the market is right there. So, yeah, we, but the goal for most of those players is to become professionals. The pipeline for becoming a professional athlete, especially in football, is to go play college football for three years, and then you go to the NFL. If you're looking to prepare for the NFL and you're 18 years old, there's nowhere else to do it really other than within the university's amateur athletic structure. So I don't see where else there is to play. Like, if people just wanted to play football for the sake of playing football, you can go do that outside right now. That's not why people go play football at these large institutions. They don't because as much as anything else, that's the feeder to the next level, and they got a monopoly on it. 